Hello everyone and this is your coach Keita Dubey and today we'll be addressing a very important topic which is um, I'm sure uh, you must have experienced a lot of failures or some of you are experiencing it right now uh, there's some kind of failure so it's going to be addressing all those issues where I would be really telling you about your failures are just important as your successes yes and that's very very true uh, we tend to overlook them and look at look at them in a very different way so i'll be addressing all those questions over there and before i do that uh, please do subscribe to my channel and press bell icon and press like button so that will give me a huge encouragement to make such inspiring videos for you all and with that let's get started The question which we'll be addressing today is, have you ever experienced failure? And I think without a doubt, we could all say yes, 100%. We all have experienced failures, whether we were as a child, whether we were into our teenage years, or perhaps we are adult also all those years. And every time, once in a while, we do face those fa failures, right? And of course, you know those moments when you fail short of your goals or face rejection. It is easy to feel discouraged, isn't it? But to believe that failure is something to be ashamed of is it's a huge um, mistakes we all do. But here's the secret <laughs> and let me share it with you all. Your failures are just as important as your success. Yes, and that's a very, very true statement in itself. Now, failure isn't the end of the road. It's a stepping stone towards your greatness. Every failure teaches you a valuable lessons, pushes you to grow and fuels your determination. Right. So any time when you have faced any failure, if you're in the right uh, mindset, I'll talk more about in the coming slides, you would see it as, a, as an opportunity to learn from it and move forward. Now, <laughs> let me give you some examples of very, very famous people. Those who have encountered countless failures. So we'll be talking about Walt Disney, right? We all know about him, faced rejected a rejection 302 times, which is like 302 times before his dream of Disneyland became a reality. And we all know Oprah Winfrey was told that she wasn't fit for the television and but went on to become a media mogul icon. So these individuals didn't let their failure define them, right? Instead, they embraced their failures and used them to fuel their successes. So what are failures? So you must understand failure uh, is nothing when it could come into so many forms. It could come as a, when you have not achieved your goals, you have felt rejected, you have not been able to accomplish any aim, any purpose. So it could come in any shape or form, correct? So one of the most important things about failure you can learn from is acceptance of the failure right so when you are facing a failure just give yourself a permission to accept it you know a lot of people have hard time even doing that they don't know how to accept a failure they probably know how to accept a success but it's more so important that you accept your failures first and then you become more successful right and number two, move on from a fixed mindset uh, to a success mindset. This is very important. If you are going through a situation where you are not seeing successes and also you are fixed upon your uh, mindset, which is which, are, which would probably give you all these um, kind of characteristics, uh, which is like you'll feel dissatisfied, you will feel uh, disapproved, right? Disapproval of everything you will face. You will have very, very low self-esteem, correct? You won't be able to see 
things or anything whatever you're trying to achieve more objectively you will definitely have a very low confidence and you would exude that kind of confidence in anything you'll be doing in your life that time and number 5 is you'll feel stagnated so if you the mindset is also of is of a fixed one and you having a failure that's going to fuel each other like anything and hence this will give you all those character six which i talk talk to you about so what is it so one very great person said uh, who was eloise ristard what he said was when we give permission to ourselves right so when you when we give ourselves a permission to fail we give permission to ourselves to excel as well so whenever you're facing any failure remember this you are giving yourself a permission it's okay to fail right and at the same time what is happening in your brain you are also expanding it to that uh, level of thinking that you are giving uh, permission to yourself to excel as well so acceptance of failures is the most important thing you need to learn and how you can do that so first of all if you are going through a situation in your life where you're feeling um it it has hit you as a failure the first is acknowledge that situation let's see whatever it is you're not doing in good in business you've lost a job you've lost a relationship you're not making any money any any of those situations just sit down and acknowledge it as it is correct number 2 it's okay to fail now tell yourself it's okay now it is a very important thing to do because if you don't do that your mind is still would say can wander off and saying oh you failed you did not do good oh what people would say you know all those uh, kind of thoughts will start coming to your mind so we have to control those those thoughts so if you really want to control those thoughts you really have to say it's okay to fail and if somebody comes up and says oh gosh so sorry to hear that and you failed in this or something then at the same time in your mind you know just keep saying it's okay you know you don't have to tell it to them and if you want to you can do that aloud to them also it's okay you know because that will give you a very solid foundation of understanding and giving yourself a permission at the same time that it's okay to fail and the number 3 is at most important don't feel ashamed about your failure i know it's difficult and i know it's not uh, that easily achievable as well because you would feel <laughs> you know instantly ashamed about it i know and why i say that because lot many times when you are going through a situation in your life when you are you are facing failures the people around you the circumstances around you um it could be anybody it could be your family it could be your friends everybody around you tend to say it in in the negative way like oh so sorry to hear that and you start to feel ashamed you you feel you take it personally that something you did was so wrong and that should not have happened so i really want you to basically abstain from that feeling you know that we are feeling utterly discouraged and ashamed in yourself that you did something extremely wrong overcome any failure now what you need to really do if you really want to come uh or any any failure it could be any any part of your life it could be could be let's say uh, basically career business life relationship habits anything so number one thing you need to do is no comparison please don't compare yourself to anyone you are unique uh, in your own abilities and your own potential focus on that number 2 success look at the success of that based on your own goals so everybody is different every individual has a different goal different mindset they operate from so please make sure that you are um making your mind think only about your goals about your successes not comparing to other any other person right and find inspiration so this works a little like i i tell you this really works very wonderfully because if you see them any uh, inspiring people and what they're telling you and how they're telling you just if you want to follow them if you want to uh, if they lead you in some some way that's perfectly fine but again don't completely start comparing yourself or your situation to them 
So, and number four is create small habits. You don't have to go big. And let's say if you're facing some kind of failures in your life, go small, take small steps. You don't have to do anything huge. Just probably if you've got some news or something has happened, just sit with it for a day or so. So just just focus like what has happened you can definitely analyze the situation and again i said you again at the same time while you're doing so please give yourself permission to feel that it's okay to fail i hope so you enjoyed today's session about um, like i said your uh, failures are just as important as your successes and i'm sure you might have taken some key points like uh, any one of those which resonated with you so with that i would end this session and before that thank you so much for being with me on this session and please don't forget to subscribe and press like button and also press the bell icon which would give me huge encouragement to make such inspiring videos for you all and keep coming back and meeting you all and in this channel i would be making business growth tips life coaching and motivational tips so you all have a wonderful day thank you so much once again